everyone, today we're using Alolan Marowak, which broke the meta. I'm not joking, it broke it. it uh, no, everybody forgot that fire types exist, and everybody forgot that Alolan Marowak exists. It's the Skeledurge of the Great League Remix. It's the Skeledurge of the Great League Remix. But it's better, because it learns Bone Club, which is an even better bait move. Okay, no, the Summon Force gives a better coverage, but it's banned, so we got to use what we got to use. Anyway, Cresselia, yada yada, I want to chat for a bit. Um, how was your day? Yeah, well, I'm a s oh, that's boring. Oh, what else, lad? I don't know you. Anyway, thank you for the amount of support that I've been getting. Like, I'm not saying, like, comments and stuff. You guys are a little bit lackluster there. I'm saying straight up subscribers. <laughs> I started here with barely anything. I started with nothing. And boom, 188 subscribers. It'll probably be even more by the time you're watching this. It, it, it depends. If you're watching this a week from now, from when it's posted, it'll definitely be more. Yes, I know. If it's not, please tell me. <laughs> anyway, I'm um, going for the dig. Uh, but, okay, I want to talk a little bit more about this tank. Because you might be thinking this thing will be destroyed by a man team. It will. Trust me. It will. But I don't see them anymore. I know I've been complaining about them for the past two days. But, <clears throat> I scared them off with Raichu. Yeah, nobody's using them anymore. And now I just see Brock types and other electric types. That's all I'm seeing. Yeah, I've seen Nose Pass. I mean, Provo Pass. Yeah. And Far Fetched. They are using a duck. They think a duck can beat a ghost. Or, I don't know, primate. They're cuckoo. They're cuckoo. Anyway, we can just shield this because I'm not actually sure what this thing learns. <laughs> if it learns Leaf Blade with Crookity Loot. Now I can just overform and go for Night Slash, and uh, Night Slash will put them into a perfect, and I mean perfect, bomb bomb rage, and gives us a lot of energy. They no shield, wait, no, they've got no shield. And we get the boost, 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 boost alert. Anyway, sorry if I hurt your ears, but I'm just saying we got the boost, baby, let's go. They're going for another brick break, that's fine, I don't mind, we can just farm them down. They're coming back in with that Probo Pass, which is their final Pokemon. And I boosted Shadow Ball from an eye label there and we take out like six of these guys. Definitely. Why did it say at the back? I was doing my Diancy quest um, today uh, and it said do five <laughs> super effective. It thought Shadow Ball was super effective against like grass types like this Chimeco. Oh, they're coming in with another rock type. I told you, people are using rock types. They're not using... Grass types, I mean not grass types, they're not using flying types anymore. I overform just slightly and go for the night slash because we can just take them out here, then I don't have to expend a shield or take damage. Yeah, ah, oh, no, but we get the boost and we can take them out before they can even get a single dint of damage. We get two games in a row, boost, and they come in with Crocolore, not good. I'm gonna overform to the Shadow Ball and baiting with the night slash. Baiting. <laughs> Even the Night Slash will do a lot of damage, so to be honest, they kind of have to shield everything. Coming from me, uh, yeah. Night Slash grabs the shield, and now I know I can get to another Night Slash. I'm gonna shield this, and this potentially puts me into perfect, perfect range for me to get to another Night Slash, and those counters are doing so much damage. Like, wow! That is a lot of damage. But seriously, guys, thank you so much for the support. Oh, we got the final shield, boys. It's a bit of a risky play coming in with a Marowak because I have to shield a crunch. But thank you guys so much for the support that I've been getting. Like, really, it's crazy on how someone can go from Pokemon Go and just get so <laughs> so many subscribers in here. It's just like, Pokemon Go is not, not the biggest game, but you can still have fun playing it, you know what I mean? We're going for the next Bone Club. Bone Club takes them out. Yeah, no, no go figure. And now they just got that Chimeco in the back, and Chimeco is just completely warped here. Yeah. Like, really. And they're running Razor Leaf, so they're not going to get to a single ding dang move before we get to the Shadow Wall, because Fire Spin gets so much more energy. See what I mean? It, it thought Shadow Ball is super effective against a Grass type. It's not. It's neutral. Another amazing lead. I swear, people forgot that this thing existed, and, and they're staying in amazing. They're swapping out into oh, and Incineroar. I'm going to be swapping out into my, um, Annihilate, and Annihilate beats this thing in the, in the two to twos. In the two shield scenario, it beats it because you can literally just farm it down. In the zero shield, it loses because, um, 
Why did they go for the Blossburn? I mean, why did they go for the land? <laughs> we can survive the Darkest Land. Go for Blossburn. Blossburn is more energy efficient and does way more damage. We're going for the Night Slash. It puts them in perfect uh, farm down range. Yeah, bye bye. If I didn't, they would have been able to get to another move, and I don't really want to do that. Oh, they're coming out of the Glade, and they're not running a Psycho Cut. They're in confusion. Dang it. That sucks. Because now I am going to have to use a Night Slash, and I'm not going to be able to get to a Shadow Ball afterwards. Will I be able to get to another Night Slash? No. <laughs> One fast move off. But we've got a pretty good answer to a Glade in the form of Gla um, Glagar. They're throwing move. I don't feel threatened by any of this thing can throw, like, really. It's not really threatening. A Leaf Blade, a bar, does nothing. They're coming back into that bomber stone. I lag. I lag. And now I'm going to have to shield. My answer, please fix your game. <laughs> Uh, I should have been able. I just this after this update of this um, biomes, the game has been so much more laggy. Like seriously, it's been so <laughs> laggy and it's so annoying. But now I can really just farm them down because uh, fire spin is double super effective and a bomber spin does not have the greatest attack. I mean, defense stat. I mean, it's still pretty bulky. Now I am going for the Bone Club bait. Now I, there's no really reason for me to bait other than saying, haha, bait you. Because really, I've got two Shadow Balls because I farmed up to 100 energy, so I literally could have gone for two Shadow Balls. Actually, I don't think I could have. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I could have. But um, we're going for the next Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball will be taking them out, and that is actually super effective damage. So that is a good game. Anyway, into the next one we lead. Another amazing lead! Mwah! This is a perfect lead because we resist literally everything I can throw. And for some reason they're staying in. Are they super weak? They got, mmm, I lag. I lag so much. And they've got their own Marak. But Kanto Marowak. So that sucks. And uh, I take so much damage on my Marowak. Uh, Marowak, Marowak. I'm gonna say Marowak a lot in this video. <laughs> That's funny. Bone Club does nothing. Does absolutely nothing. Like, we literally completely wall them. It's amazing. It's funny that, um... Both of the Marowaks have signature moves of uh, Lolan is Shadow Bone and, and Kanto is Bone Club. Well, it's signature, it's signature, yeah, but uh, Lolan can learn it, and it's like the perfect bait move. Like, nobody, nobody expects an Alolan Marowak to bait. Like, they expect me to go full send the Shadow Ball, but no, 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 no. Go for the next area they stay let that through for some reason. Okay, well to be honest, they completely get walled. Damn, son! They're running double double grass. And they have one counter to fire. If I'm running double fire, they might as well commit like just uh, commit to the top lefty. <laughs> but no, uh, we can literally just destroy them. Now that I'm running grass and fire, they're just uh, they're doomed. They're doomed! They're doomed! Okay, if I'm running triple fire, I mean, they might be able to- They're running Solar Beam! Are you- are you joking, mate? Solar Beam? Like, sure, if I was running a water type and you got me there and I had no shields, sure. But no, I don't. We can just take them out there. Excuse me. Now, my opponent seems to know that they're- this is game. Oh, no, they're down. But, um, yeah, no, <laughs> this opponent is running a very weird team. And I don't want to hear it in the comments section, okay? No one, not everybody can go, you know, go and become a legend. Like, it's it's difficult, man, especially when Mantine and Mandibuzz are just. But I know people are going to say, there it is again. Shadow Ball is not super effective against it's very, oh, um, uh, grass. Another amazing lead. What is up with people forgetting that fire types exist? Like, really? This thing is amazing. Anyway, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. We wait, what was I? What was I gonna say? Oh yeah. This team's very weak to man team, but I stopped seeing it for some reason. I just stopped seeing it. Like, I don't know why I just stopped seeing it. But I and also Mandibus. People are running running way too many rock tops in this day and age, you know? People have realized that flying types are meta, so they stopped running um flying types altogether, and my opponent brings a Gligar. Which, I mean, we can deal with. We just need to somehow get an advantage with our Marowak, like a, and it, 
No, I don't even ice slash. Uh, I have to instantly swap out. No, like a, a health advantage, but my game lags and they get that health advantage back and energy advantage because I couldn't even throw one wing attack. What is wrong with the game? Anyway, they're going for the night slash. Thankfully, they didn't get a boost. I mean, I don't know what I would have done there. I probably would have top left. Um, we can get to night slash. I mean, aerial ace because we outpace. Um, aerial ace is better than night slash. <laughs> yeah. Glagar, I can see why people use it. It's it's absolutely busted and I love it. It's probably my favorite Pokemon. Now they must be running a very, very bad Glagar because my wing attacks are doing significantly more wing attacks than theirs. Significantly more. Um but I don't have a shadow Glagar and I lack my shiny Glagar. Like I lack it. I somehow found the candies to double move it and I powered it up. Like I'm not gonna give get away. They catch it onto Magneton, no! But if I get like a 0-15-15 zero, a zero Glygar, Shadow Glygar, I'm gonna power it up. I can just come in here and farm them down because they're energy draw. I do have a 0, uh, I do have a 1-15-15, a, uh, what's, uh, Whizcash. So I'm going to be using that very, very soon as long as, just like give Bobosha like an event or like a community day <laughs> so that I can power up my Shadow Whizcash. Shadow War! Damn, that Ufisk is... Bulky! Eufisk is just so bulky, really. I don't understand. <laughs> it's like Galarian Stunfisk, but yeah, I don't know. Galarian Stunfisk is just, I don't see it ever. Like, uh, you just don't see it, eh? I don't know why. Like, okay, yeah, there's Polyraths and Annihilates running around and Gligos running around. Hey, actually, no, I understand why. It's a very, very just thing. But, like, Eufisk is also a bit. <sighs> okay, they do beat our Gligos, but I mean, Annihilate. But we can literally just wall them here. They're gonna have to. They're forced to throw. Now I lag, and I would have been able to throw the air lace, taking them out. But this is okay. I can still get the farm down with um, Fire Spin because this thing has a monstrous attack stat. Fire Spin gets the farm down, and we have a Shadow Ball loaded to throw at this low, 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 low health lagger. Glagger can comfortably handle a Shadow Ball, but not at this health range, and not at this, uh, I don't know, uh, IVs. His IVs were very low. Okay, I, I can't speak. He had um, a higher CP than mine, but like, mine's better IVs. Horribly, horrible. Eject, eject. Now my game lags again, and they get so many fire fangs. Who runs fire fang? It gets energy like croup. And what are you trying to get? Like, okay, I guess you could take out this grass top, but like a water type just walls you. Okay, we'll type walls in here, but I mean, it's a good idea. They catch the area lace onto Brian? Okay, this person is doing some weird, weird plays. First, he's running Fire Fang, and now he's catching a super effective move and uses a shield on a Primeape. Uh, it's not even Annihilate, but like he didn't even get to do what he wanted to do with it. That's just so confusing. I'm so confused, yeah? Okay, they're going for the night size, that sucks. I'm going for the next aerial ice, and aerial ice will definitely take them out. Sorry, there's a there's a tractor going by! <sighs> Sorry, I uh, know, sorry about that. Oh, they got uh, Bronzor in the back, Bronzor. I was gonna say Primate because the name stuck there for a second, but you can't have two Primates in one team. You know, if you could have that, I just imagine people in the Master League using like three Shadow Mewtwo's and just destroying them. <laughs> but if you, then you could use three um, sh uh, Darkrai and just destroy them back. Like, <laughs> it'd just be funny, you know? Just like use this, 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 and just use the same Pokemon with different move sets, you know, to cover each other. That would just be funny. We can get the farm down, and they got that dang thing in the back. They do get to a move. Which, um, it sucks because my game lags, and it lags again! Like, they're going for the Earth Path. Damn! Marowak is a bulky boy. Okay, we get to the Bone Club. I would have actually, if my game didn't lag, got to the Shadow Ball and probably ended this game. Yeah. But no, my game wants me to play properly. Well, not properly. My game wants me to go completely cuckoo. I can come with Annihilate. Now, we should be able to survive an Earth. Actually, no, we can't survive on Earth Power. But we can? Uh, yeah, no, we can't survive on Earth Power. Can we? Oh, we can! Wait, 
Earth power? Earth power makes... Oh, wow, I didn't even know Earth power could debuff you. That's interesting. Night Slash will definitely take them out. And, oh, they got that bronze ore in the back, but we've still got um, uh, a Glagger in the back, so we win. <laughs> Uh, a neutral? Neutral? I mean, yeah, it's neutral. All our charge attacks except Shadow Ball are resisted. So we can go for the Bone Club. Bone Club will not do any damage. It'll literally do nothing. Um, I get the weak connection because... Just stop it with the lag! We grab a shield? Okay. <laughs> My opponent really does not... Whoa, they're coming up with a Dragonite, but they're running Dragon Tail, so they're not going to be out to outpace me, not even in the slightest. And, um, they're going to have to shield this, otherwise we can flip switch, but no, they do not. Okay, wonderful, now I can just shield once and farm down. Uh, this is mwah, perfect, because uh, they don't have the fast move pressure of Dragon Breath, they don't have the speed of Dragon Breath, so now I can literally just farm this thing down and uh, come out with nearly a hundred energy to threaten literally anything they come in with. What? They're coming in with Jolteon? That is super cool to be seen. I build up to the back-to-back -back pigs, even though pig is resisted on, uh, what's it called? Whatchamacallit? Anyway, they call the bait. I'm not baiting. <laughs> Bro, I ain't baiting. That fully one-shots the Jolteon, literally, fully. It one shot. Like, as it came in, I threw the dig. It didn't even, not a wing attack through, nothing. One shot. We grab the final shield with an aerial ace for some reason. Like, dude, dig is is resisted. Aerial ace is not gonna care. I'm gonna shield potential block burn. No, it's a dragon claw. That's crap. And now, I'm gonna have to get to a shadow ball. I lag again. Stop it with the lag, man. Game, fix yourself. Anyway. Uh, Blast Burn won't KO because it's resisted, but a Dragon Claw will, but will they get to it? Okay, we get to the Shadow Ball, oh, we lose CMP, dang it, we lose CMP, that's alright I guess, I mean, I don't know, we lose CMP, Dragon Claw takes us out, will we be able to get to a Nice Slash on this thing? This is going to be very, very important, will we be able to outspeed the uh, Charizard? We will! And that is definitely going to take them out because Charizard is so, so squishy. Anyway, Night Slash takes them out and we get the unnecessary boost. Boom, baby. Uh, I get Diancy to, uh, on that day, which is cool. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Um, any Pokemon I should use? Leave in the comments. See ya.